I had applied to the APMM program about three other times in the past with a referral. Hi, my name is Henry and in this video, we'll chat with Ethan about his journey from USC to consulting to the Google APMM program. And make sure to watch till the very end because he'll share about his experiences going through the interview process. And finally, please make sure to smash the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, let's get started. I'm Ethan Sivapalan. I currently work at Google as an APMM, which is an Associate Product Marketing Manager. I work on the Google Workspace team. For that team, I do core product marketing and I'm responsible for all search and intelligence related launches I also am the product marketer for Google Keep, Google Sites, and Google Forms. Any features that launch for those products are things that I'm going to be pulled into. Can you give us a quick overview of the APMM program? Yeah, so the APMM program is a two-year rotational program. The first rotation is approximately 18 months. And when I say rotational program, what that means is when you join the program, you're placed as part of a team, like for instance, I'm part of Google Workspace, you're doing a certain type of marketing, I happen to be doing what's called core product marketing. But some of my peers do what's called event marketing, some do growth marketing, and the list goes on. And after 18 months of being on the team, uh, you're given the opportunity to rotate. And what rotating entails is you basically get to change your team, perhaps that means trying a different product, maybe focusing on a different customer segment, perhaps being in a different location. And so uh, what's also nice about rotating is you don't necessarily have to interview for the new role because the rotational process kind of allows the individuals to naturally rotate to this new role. It's like facilitated and it's not something that you have to apply and interview for. What is your background prior to product marketing? So I went to USC. I studied business and accounting. I had very little idea as to what product marketing was until the end of my senior year. I was very fortunate to get an internship at Workday. As a, at the time, I was a rising junior, so I interned in their privacy, ethics, and compliance division. And that internship really opened the doors to showing me what tech was like. And I knew after that internship that this is the tech industry is where I want to work. And the reason is because I was so fascinated by the culture. Interns were treated so, so well, like we were given all this like swag and it was just a whole new experience for me. I decided to go back to Workday again for the following summer as a consulting intern. And at the end of that internship, I was sold on the idea that I want to work at Workday. And I thought to myself, consulting would be a good place to start. So I was a Workday consultant for a little under two years. For a few reasons, I decided to leave Workday and I was starting to explore opportunities outside Workday. Coincidentally, a manager at Indeed happened to reach out to me over LinkedIn for a product strategy role. And um, I applied for that product strategy position. I had also applied for the APMM program. And after the final round, I didn't hear back for three weeks. And people I knew who interviewed for the APMM program had heard back within days. And unfortunately, I heard back after three weeks saying that because of headcount issues, they wouldn't be able to give me an offer. But my recruiter told me since I did well, She'd save my feedback and she might give me a call in a few months. And I didn't really believe her because it sounded too good to be true. So I signed my offer with Indeed. And lo and behold, three months later, I got a call from my recruiter and she gave me an offer without me having to interview. So that's that's my background. I went from Workday Consulting. I was there for a little under two years. I was at Indeed in product strategy for a few months and I joined Google I'm in October of last year in the product marketing program. How did you prepare for your APMM interviews? There were a few things that I did. I think for one, I created a Google doc with a list of questions that I could expect. And by that, I mean, you can almost certainly be sure that you're gonna be asked, well, tell me about yourself. So I want to have the best answer to tell me about yourself ready. So even before the applications came out, I had my answer ready to go, I practiced it. And so similar to that question, I had a bunch of other questions, right? And Naturally, there are going to be questions you can't expect, but I want to be as prepared as I could be. So I would just scour Glassdoor and go through different websites to understand what type of questions APMMs were asked. I reached out to current APMMs at the time, now PMM, to understand what type of questions they were asked. So that was my first step, putting together a Google Doc with a list of questions I knew I could expect and prepare for. And I did also make sure my resume was good to go because when the application released, I had my application in the same day it came out because I just had all the materials ready. As, you, as you're aware, these applications aren't out for too long. In fact, 
when I applied, it was out for a week. And apparently, I think it was out for four days this year. So for that reason, I just want to have my application good to go. So my resume was ready as well. Once I actually got the interview, I thoroughly researched my interviewers. So I understood their educational background, how long they, they were at Google for, and crafted questions based on their background. And then I think the other tip that really helped me was I prepared for that interview as though I was preparing for a case study interview. The reason for that is because when you're preparing for a case study interview, my belief is that those interviews teach you how to think and answer questions appropriately. For example, I was asked a question, should Google build a rocket ship? Instead of saying yes or no, I actually was able to approach that question with a lot more posture and poise and be more calm about answering the question because of my case interview practice. And then finally, I created a really cool Google Meet background with the help of my friends. And so that was my background during the interview. And I kid you not, during my first interview, my interviewer just asked me if it was okay if she could take a picture with me in the background. I don't know if it helped me get the job, but I definitely know that they were really, I think, excited to see you know, that type of background. Overall, what was your APMM interview process like? I was told by the recruiter that this was one of the fastest APMM application cycles they've had. So that being said, when I applied, I, I had a referral when I applied. I heard back within a week of my application from, I believe they're called staffing specialists. And so this person basically reached out and said, hey, we think your resume might be a good fit for this program. We'll be in touch in a few days if this is the case. Then I get an email from a recruiter from Google who asked me to fill out a Google form with some information about myself and my college transcript. In that initial form, they also asked for my availability if I'm selected for an interview. So all this has happened within a week of my application being submitted. The second week, my interview is scheduled and it's a 30 minute interview with purely behavioral with a former APMM. Uh, she had been working at Google for about, I think nine or 10 years. So she's now a, like a senior PMM. I had an interview with her. There were no tough questions, at least when you compare them to the second and third interviews. I heard back within a week of that interview, I heard back saying I was going to be moved on to the second round. The second round consisted of two parts. One, there was a writing sample. So the writing sample was essentially I had 24 hours to submit like a blog on some topic they provided. That was the first part of the, the second round. And the other portion was the interviews. There were two more 30 minute interviews as part of the second round. And that, that was it. These two interviewers were not APMMs. They were like senior PMMs. Those interview questions were a lot harder. They asked me, should Google build a rocket ship? How would you make Google Maps profitable? What is your least favorite marketing campaign and why? That last one, okay, that was probably more predictable. The other two, it's like, are these really product marketing questions? Then I didn't hear back for three weeks, like I said. And as you know, you know, they said they couldn't give an offer because of headcount. But that was my process from start to finish. I will say two more points. My GPA in college was not the best. And I put a caveat into my application saying, hey, like, just a heads up. And I, I mentioned some reasons for why my GPA may have um, been lower than what was expected. And that was just a concern I had, but they didn't seem to mind. I, I had like a 3.1. And so they didn't seem to mind that my GPA was on the lower side. So for those of you that do have a GPA that might not be like a 3.5 or higher, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I would just perhaps explain the reasons for why it's on the lower side, uh, if you can. The second point is I had applied to the APMM program about three other times in the past with a referral. And I remember or asking the girl who referred me, you know, what am I doing wrong? What's wrong with my application? Is there something in my resume that I'm not portraying accurately? And she said that there really wasn't anything wrong. And she said, it's just so competitive. And she said she thought I was a qualified applicant. And for those of you that are trying to be part of the Google APMM program, um, it may take a few tries. Just remember, it's not you. Um, there are just thousands of people who apply and they only have so many seats or, that they can give as with my case, right? They didn't have headcount. So don't feel discouraged if it doesn't happen the first time and just keep trying. Hard work always pays off in some way, shape or form. So if it's not Google, then there are tons of opportunities where uh, you can shine. Well, thank you so much for sharing about your experience and also the wonderful tip. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to learn about how you can break into product marketing, check out pmmcareers.com. Till next time, see you.